As much as we all love getting flower plants, I really hate it when I forget to water them and they just die. So in today's video, I've come up with a solution so that you don't have to worry about it. There are two very popular sensors which are used for soil moisture detection. One is this capacitive soil moisture sensor and the second one is this resistive soil moisture sensor. Today we'll learn about this resistive soil moisture sensor, how we'll interface it with an Arduino board and how you can save your plants using this board. So let's dive straight into it. So this is the complete resistive soil moisture sensor and it is made up of two parts, a soil moisture sensor probe and an electronic module. Let's understand the pinout and connection of both these modules and then move on to its working. So this is the main sensor probe which has two pins, sensor plus pin and the sensor minus pin. This sensor has these two exposed conductors. These conductors act as variable resistors, meaning the more water in soil, the better the conductivity and the lower the resistance and the less water in soil, the lesser the conductivity and the higher is the resistance. Now this probe is connected to this electronic module right here. You will connect sensor plus pin to the plus pin of the module and the minus pin to the minus pin of the module. This electronic module also has these four pins, VCC, ground, the digital output pin and the analog output pin. This electronic module generates output analog voltage based on the resistance value received from the probe, which will be output through the analog output pin. The same signal is also fed to this LM393 comparator, which will convert this analog value into digital output signal available at the digital output pin. There is also a potentiometer on the board for adjusting sensitivity of the digital output coming from the LM393 through which we can control the threshold value above which the sensor will output a high value. The signal LED will lit up as soon as the moisture in the soil exceeds a specific threshold value set by us. There is also a power LED which is to indicate that the module is turned on. Now let's interface the soil moisture sensor with an Arduino. Connect VCC of the sensor to the 5 volt pin of Arduino, ground pin to the ground pin and I am going to read the analog value, so I will connect the analog output pin to the A0 pin of Arduino. You can refer to the circuit diagram on the screen to replicate the connections. Let's move on to the code now. In the first line, what we'll do is we'll select the input pin for the resistive soil moisture sensor. So here's where the soil moisture sensor will be connected to the Arduino, the A0 pin. Then we'll initialize a variable called as sensor value and we'll give it a value of zero, which we'll be changing on later. Now in the void setup section, what we'll do is we'll start the serial communication and give it a baud rate of 9600. In the void loop section, first we'll analog read the value which is coming on the sensor pin, the A0 pin. This value is coming from directly from the sensor and we'll store it in a variable called as sensor value. And then what you can do is you can serial.println sensor value. This will print it on the serial monitor and then we'll give a short delay of 1000 milliseconds. And that's the complete code. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, this is basically our soil moisture sensor. And as you can see, the value currently is one, right? Now, as I slowly insert it into the soil, you can see the value is increasing, right? So basically this means that it is working. You can also read the digital output from this pin. Here's the circuit diagram. After connecting, upload the code for the digital pen read in Arduino. You can check out all the circuit diagram and code given in the blog linked in the description. Okay, so this is the complete sensor module right here. Now, as you can see, even when I remove it or when I put it inside the wet soil, there is no change in this specific, you know, signal LED. Now, what I will do is I'll tweak this value a bit with this screwdriver so i'll make this value so this value is between the on and off see okay so this value is somewhere between the off and on i'll keep it as off okay now as soon as i remove this it should be you know off and when i put it it should be on and you can also see the changes in the serial monitor and the serial monitor currently the value is zero but as I remove it, the value turns to 1, which means our digital output is working. So that's it for the video. Hope you liked the content. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you again. Okay, now let's give you some water.